Hello and once again, good evening YouTube, welcome back to the Kamikaze Games channel. And we're playing some more Need for Speed Most Wanted Challenge Series. Last time we completed the first 20, so that's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 20. 20 challenges, that is what we completed on the first part. So let's continue. It's a time, it's a toll booth. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, can you believe it? It's another toll booth event. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Here we go. <laughs> it's another toll booth race. And they all start right here, dude. How many events have started right here? The TV is very loud. Hold on. TV, I can almost hear the music playing that I turned down five years ago. Okay. Welcome back to some more Need for Speed Most Wanted. It's been a couple of days since I played this, so this could be a bit rough to start off, but I'm confident. I'm confident in my driving ability and my ability to adapt in any given situation and not body slam every single wall and every single pedestrian car in the known universe. So, more challenge series. Yay. Everyone loves the challenge series, I think. I know I, I did one episode, I posted one episode of this since, uh, since starting to record this. And you can see that we're actually starting to get close on the time. Mostly because I'm hitting shit head on for no reason other than to be slow. So, that's really... But you see, the thing is, I think I said this in the last uh, session, that this really isn't that much of a challenge. The, none of these really are that challenging. It's just, you get to the first toll booth, that's the only difficult part in the entire game. Unless you fucking keep running into every single pedestrian car that they spawn. In which case, it gets a little bit on the annoying side. And when you run into the environment that is just barely sticking out, uh, and, and it brings you to a complete stop. When that happens, that's also been on the annoying side. And we are getting chased by the police. Hello, officer. We are level 3 police. So that's cool. But um, we got a whole 40 seconds to get to this next one, which is going to be right around the corner here, so... Wow! Strategic... Pedestrian vehicle. Strategic running into pedestrian vehicle so that I get slowed down massively. That was, uh... I know it, they, that they're, the police's motto is protect and serve, but I guess that really doesn't count when you're trying to chase after a Dodge Viper, because they're just body slamming into all the pedestrian traffic. I mean, I'm body slamming into all the pedestrian traffic, so I get it. I get it. You know, it's a, it's a fun hobby, but... You see, the only real challenge on any of these toll booth time trials is they they want you to get to that first point in a certain amount of time, but then every sub subsequent point gets you extra time, you know, and you can make up a lot of time on any given section of road just by not getting caught by a stray pixel on the side of the street there, so... But yeah, so this is the tightest time frame we've been on this entire thing, all entirely due to me running into shit constantly. Not really so much on the whole, you know, difficulty scale, more so on the running into shit constantly scale. Yeah, something I noticed on the, uh... Last session was the one race where we got to do the jumpy jumps. If I hadn't done the jumpy jumps, there's absolutely no way that I would have been able to finish that one. Like, the jumpy jumps are technically just a shortcut. You know, in most events. But, in that instance, they were kind of required. They were kind of a required segment of the event to complete said event. Anyway, that was the most challenging race yet, but we managed to get to the last one without the hurry popping up. Ooh, ooh, what a moody uh, thumbnail opportunity this would be. Like, just look at the absolute resolution 
on this traffic cone. That's amazing. I have never seen a texture this close up. And the best part is this is not a texture. This is a rendered object. That's not a pre-made, you know, bitmap texture. It's a, it's constantly being rendered by the game engine. It's interesting. We're learning new things. See, after all these years, we're still learning new things. The textures on the uh, traffic cones are not a bitmap. They are, in fact, um, being actively rendered. That's cool. Anyway, we need to dodge six police roadblocks. Uh, good burp. Six out of ten. Let's see if the um, if the game decides to spawn roadblocks today. <laughs> yeah, you see that? That was the poster that I was talking about in the previous session. The one that the uh, postal office could not be bothered to just hand to me here. And yes, I did wake up early one day in order to get that. <laughs> sure did. Oh, that's what I should have done was check to see if, um, I want to get the hit and run. I wanted to, ch I needed to check and see if the, um, technically I guess this is not driving off the roadway. There it is. I don't think infractions count unless the officers specifically see you doing it. Even if, like, they drive past the destroyed piece of the environment, they actually give you the benefit of the doubt. And don't automatically assume that you were the one that caused the, uh, collateral damage. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm driving off the, uh, interstate. I'm driving off-road this entire time here. On a challenge where I'm supposed to get, uh, six godforsaken roadblocks. And I'm over here not even on the road. There isn't even a road for them to block. It's absurd. Anyway. So. What were we talking about? I was There was something we were going to talk about there. I have already forgotten what it is. Minute and a half into this pursuit, and they've yet to spawn a single roadblock. But the good news is, is that once they do start spawning roadblocks, they should spawn many of them. Oh yeah, I was wondering if uh, all of these uh, pursuits carried over into career mode, which there's no reason why they would. But it would be pretty cool if it did. Sure be cool if you did. Anyway... They can't be bothered to spawn roadblocks, so I guess I'll just sit back and wait. Three days later. Uh. Oh my god, at last. It only took three minutes, but we have finally seen the first of six roadblocks. Yeah, there's something in this game's programming that just kind of, you know, doesn't really lend itself to the, uh, challenge series. To see, it took three minutes for the first roadblock to spawn, and now suddenly there's another one immediately. I'm not sure how it's programmed, or what's going on, but for some reason it takes a long time for stuff to actually start happening, especially when you start a, um, a pursuit outside of, um, a race. I, I, for, for some reasons, things happen faster. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, we survived. Except the fucking physics engine is terrible. Okay. See, you just fucking burn out. Traction. Can I get some traction? No. No, I can't get some traction. Because the car can't accelerate from a stop to save its fucking life. Stupid. There is no reason that anything that just happened should have happened. Let me just be perfectly clear. All of that was stupid. Let me be clear. Oh, that guy's having a bad day. Well, I just, I just want to keep three of them on me here, because when it goes down to two, they're going to spawn back up, and it's like, you know, they could just finish this mission off in, like, two minutes. If they would just spawn the roadblocks. Thank you. Oh, the double. They tried the double. The double didn't work. You know, when you go through two of them that are sitting side by side, 
That should count as two roadblocks. I don't even care, dude. Anyway, they're gonna spawn back up immediately as the final roadblock spawns, so... Can't wait for that. See, these fucking guys can accelerate from 0 to 60 in 2 seconds. But me, oh no, if I come to a stop, it's just gonna go... And the tires are just gonna spin endlessly. I witnessed those spawn into existence again. You know what, in the previous session I said that I witnessed those uh, SUVs spawn into existence. I did not witness those SV SUVs spawn into existence. They actually popped up before the curve. So that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good handling of it by the, uh, by the game's uh, engine and stuff. Okay, five of six. If they just spawn this last one right here, we'll be on our way straight to the Pursuit Ender at the stadium. Come on, one more. Uh-oh. Well then. You know, the SUV lights, they really don't accomplish anything. Do they? There's really, uh... Not a whole lot of an, uh, intelligent design went into the SUV lights. Anyway, of course they decided to wait for backup to arrive before spawning one more roadblock. Just one more roadblock. All we needed. But no. No, let's wait for fucking backup to arrive. And there it is. Imagine that. Amazing. All right, well now I need to, now I need to conjure up a way of getting back to the stadium, and I think I'm already mapping it out. I feel like you can probably figure out where I'm going with this. I know that the statistics count for probably absolutely nothing, but I do like bumping up, buffing my stats when it comes to uh, the tags and the uh, destroyed police officers. So let's destroy some officers. With that being said, let's destroy some officers. Slow down, make sure that everyone gets in on this. Come on, y'all. Everyone into the gas canister party. Yeah, all aboard the... No, I don't want to go this way. Dumbass AI. I specifically aim my car towards the right so that it knows that, oh, he wants to turn right. No. It's too dumb to figure that out. Alright, down to ten. There's still a calvacod of cunts following me here. Did you know that cunt's one of the worst possible words that you can say? I feel like Australians should be personally offended by this. Because when you um, do the uh, self-certification for monetization, it, it gives you the checklist of bullshit, and it's like, bad language, and the worst possible language that you can say is the C word, the N word, and the F word, and not the fuck word. They don't even censor fuck on the page. They, it says, like, words like, quote, fuck. <laughs> Come on, guys, everyone into the stadium. There, there we go. Oh, that's 20 destroyed police vehicles. Wowzers. And we're done. Now I just need to outrun this officer into the safety of this thing. And we're done. Man, it's almost as if that would not have taken nearly as long if it had just spawned the roadblocks before the ninth minute of the pursuit. Yay, this is going to be pretty much its own episode. <laughs> if this was recorded in 2016, this would probably be its own episode. Yeah, and there's five infractions, so... I don't know if these are counting towards the rap sheet. I highly doubt these are counting towards the rap sheet. Because the rap sheet is contained within career mode. If the rap sheet was accessible outside of career mode, then maybe... However, it's only accessible in career mode, so. Anyway, that was not fun at all, actually. I was going to say that was fun, but no. No, actually. It wasn't fun in the slightest. Tell the... <laughs>
Woo! And tell them of time, yay. Something I've always wondered, and not really wondered, I kind of understood, but that it keeps asking me if I want to do automatic or manual transmission. And in Need for Speed Carbon, the only way that you can determine whether or not you want an automatic or manual is when you're buying the car. When you're buying the car, it asks if you want automatic or manual. And that, should, that decision is locked in. I should not have been fucking mugging to the camera. Just fucking start it over. The one thing that they had to spawn right there was, of course, a fucking semi. That's the only time that you get it, that you get the uh, option of deciding which you want between automatic or manual. However, whenever there's a boss car, because you can get boss car pink slips like in this game, except it's like twice as impossible. You know, it's already hard enough to get boss pink slips in this game. They made it so that you had to choose two markers between four question marks. You only have a 33% chance, or like, no, it's like a 66% chance in this game, right? I don't know, I don't know what, I, I, I haven't taken math classes in a long time, so I've forgotten how probability works. Oh, I almost killed him. Oh, I almost had you. Oh, I almost had you. And sadly, there's no jumpy jumps today. But, um... Yeah, so if you say that there is a 66% chance of you getting a pink slip in this game, which it really doesn't even feel like it, that doesn't even feel true, because I feel like you barely get pink slips anyway. It's like it's almost like it's rigged against you to not, you know, get pink slips. There used to be this fucking game facts um, guide to making sure that you get the pink slip for the for the for the boss every single time and it's like first you pick the middle one then you pick the right one and you will always get the pink slip and it's like rarely if ever did that act did that thing actually work because like you know it's almost always the middle one for JV but I've noticed that sometimes it's not the middle one for JV. Yet, like, every single time that I play this game and I pick the middle one for JV, it's always that one. It's like, dude. Dude. I think this is the shortest possible distance between any two toll booths that you could ever have. Also, the police officers just went through the Pursuit Breaker. They literally just went through the shortcut to kill themselves for no reason. And then I escaped from them until they spawned that one. Fantastic work, officers. This is your taxpayer money at work. Rockport taxpayer money at work. Anyway. This is almost over. Yay! Another thrilling toll booth raise is about to come to an another thrilling and entertaining close. And one, two, three. We have accomplished the toll booth raise. Woo! Ooh, this one's got the officer in the background. Mm. I smell a thumbnail. It smells like taint. Oh, it's so bright outside. Someone turn off the sun. It is too bright out. Being awake during the day is going to take some getting used to. Evade the pursuit with a minimum of five infractions. They're going to give me five infractions load the mission five infractions oh man it's a pretty daunting task right there boy howdy i don't know if we're gonna be able to do this i don't know if we're gonna be able to do this this is gonna be a, a tough one all right everyone let's count them out of course it didn't count that one okay hit and run um, damage to property. Can we get driving off of roadway on this one? No, only if we go through a shortcut, probably. Do, 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 do. Driving off roadway. Okay. And then we go really fast and stuff. 
Speeding. Uh oh. Okay, we made it. Wow, and I can actually evade them right here. Challenge complete. Resisting arrest. Wow, we absolutely just did the Wily Coyote move on him. And absolutely juked him out just like that. Wow, remember how the previous, um, challenge took nine minutes to accomplish? And every challenge is supposedly supposed to get progressively more difficult? And then we did the next challenge in literally under a minute? Yeah. Fun game! Wow, dude, and I'm probably not even going to be able to get to the uh, hiding spot before the cooldown is finished. Yeah, they just decided to not spawn any more officers. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I'm just going to get here. And there you have it. Wow, that was hard. <laughs> One minute and 49 seconds. Oh, this game, this game. I didn't even kill any officer. I just juked out like six of them. Once again, your taxpayer money at work. And that was also five infractions. So, you know, that was the same number of infractions as the nine minute pursuit. It's like, is this supposed to be a challenge? There's no road here on the mini. All right, we recovered. Yeah, we got ourselves some fancy cars and we're walking slow. And everybody knows us cause we are all bros. Is it gonna be a bigger leg up than the Yahoo truck or the Armor All Bugatti? We're about to find out. That should not have worked, but it did.